Hi, this is Brent Antrim, one of the librarians at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a tour of the Business Source database, our primary database for our business students. From the SMC homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library. Your interface may look slightly different because we're going through a redesign, but the search strategy should still work. On the Library homepage, scroll down to the center of the page. Before we go into the databases, I'd like to show you the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 chat reference help. If you get stuck in your research and you need assistance, chat with us and we will help you get unstuck. Going into the databases, All Databases is a list of all of the databases we currently subscribe to and a short description of what's in each database. It's listed alphabetically by title, so we scroll down to Business Source Elite and click on that. This interface should look familiar to you if you've searched other databases here at SMC. Um, the way you can tell which database you're in is up on the left-hand corner above the first search field. It will tell you which database you're currently searching. Now, like many of the discipline or subject-specific databases, this gives you some options that are particular to this database. One of those is company profiles. If you're searching for a publicly held company and a parent company, not a subsidiary, you may be able to find very excellent information here in the company profiles. So if I look for Oracle, its entry will give me a link to information about it, to its market line report directly. It will tell you the location of its headquarters and what industry it works primarily in. So if I click on the Oracle Corporation, it will give me some general information about the products and services that are offered by this organization, a quick pricey or summary, a link to the market line report, links to academic journals, trade publications, and popular periodicals. For news, I would recommend using the US Newsstream database. So if we take a look at the market line report for this particular database, or particular, I'm sorry, for this particular corporation. If you scroll down through it, you'll see the type of information that's available in it. An overview of the company, some key facts, some key employees, a SWOT analysis, and other information. So say I need to look at the SWOT analysis. I can go directly to page 50. And a SWOT analysis is a tool used to determine the strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat for any particular organization or company. Okay. It will give you a short table that summarizes these, and then it will go into a little bit more detail about that. <laughs> Don't mind the cats. Working from home is always fun. Now, heading back from this, Excuse me. When I go back to the corporation, I apologize. I can also find academic journal articles about it. And this gives me 50. I can also go over here and I can apply more limiters to it. It is already saying this must be full text. I want them to be scholarly or peer reviewed journals because that's what my instructor requires. And I want them to be in about the last 10 years or so. If the slide bar doesn't work, you can click Show More and manually enter them. That takes me down to about 19. Some of them are academic journals. Some of them have snuck in, even though you've asked for scholarly journals, and they give you popular or trade information. If it says periodical, it is not academic. So the database can occasionally fail when it's doing its limits. Make sure that you always look at the actual article to make sure that it fits the requirements that your instructor has given you. So I'm going to pick one. From there, it will tell me information about the article, subject terms delineating what the article is about, an abstract, the author supplied summary of the, of the article that tells you what they think is important about it, 
and the actual article will be attached in a PDF. At this point, you have some options. You can open up the PDF and read it. You can add it to your Google Drive if you decide, based on the abstract, this is something you want to read. I don't recommend adding it to the folder. Things fall out. You can print it, email it, save it, or cite it. So say I want this article. I can email it to myself. I tell it who to send it to. I give it a subject. And over here on the right-hand side, I ask it for a specific citation format attempt. In this case, my instructor wants MLA, so I ask for that. When I get that citation, I'm going to fix it before I put it in my paper. Do not send in plain text format, and I send it off. And it will confirm that it has indeed sent it to me. At that point, I can go back to my result list and continue my search. If I decide that I want to cite from here, and I use the citation function, it makes a note itself that you should fix it before you put it in your paper. Scroll down alphabetically to MLA, copy and paste this, and then fix it. Right off the bat, you never use all caps for anything. You take out the cover story. It's in the wrong font. It's not double spaced, etc. So fix it based on the template that your instructor gives you before you turn it in. You don't want to lose points because the bot screwed up your citation. If you have any questions at any time, chat with us. Good luck with your research and be well.